Scotty, how's your day, my man? Dinky, do lovely to have you with us for 10. Been an outstanding day today. Mr. Crichton's ancestors were all in combat as well. Myself, so proud, JD. I'm very proud of you, JD. But you're a flyer, aren't you? You're, a, you're an RAF man. There we are. I've had some very nice chats with an air marshal. Scotty, did you work in the film industry? Yes, bits and pieces, Mikey. I worked mainly in television. Television, radio, opera, the theater, management, acting, um, reading the news, doing television continuity announcements, doing voiceovers for big business, advising uh, top people on their media. Oh, on it goes and on it goes, working with young people, teaching, lecturing, primary, secondary, tertiary education, higher education, visiting professor, visiting lecturer, all these things. And um, I love just having a chat with people on the internet. There we are. But uh, what I would like while I'm still on the earth because this country doesn't really appreciate anybody until they've popped their clogs. Then they're all over them. The weeping and wailing starts then, you know. And uh, I can remember the late Morris Lindsay, the poet, having a conversation with the late Nicky Fairbairn, who could have been Lord Advocate. But he was quite an outrageous character, Nicky, but wonderfully, brilliant, brilliantly clever man, chairman of the Traverse Theatre, restored a castle at Fordell in Fife. A uh, terrific guy. Anyway, that was Nicky. And here, Morris Lindsay. Morris Lindsay was a terrific character as well. Critic for the, for the Herald, the music critic, violinist, um, musician par excellence, poet, writer, manager, program controller of border television. I missed him. I didn't work with Morris, but I, I would love to have great presenter taking over. Morris could have took over a program that was failing and made a success of it. He was very, very good. And he was chatting to Nicky Fairburn, and he said, um, you know, he said, you know, Morris, you know, I think it was, Nick, Morris said to Nicky, you know, Nicky, if you do more than one thing well in Scotland, they hate you. And Nicky said, no, Morris, if you do one thing well in Scotland, they hate you. And I was right at the peak with Scott FM. We could have taken it another year and made fortunes for the owners. And along comes some half-wit and just shuts it down, you know. 